Inmates in Clay County will soon be sleeping alongside some international visitors. They are people in this country illegally and the sheriffs agreeing to help house them. News 10's Brent Fraser joins us now with how this new practice will mean new jail jobs. Brent? Yeah, Patrice, Sheriff Mike Heaton says he's already housing bad guys for the U.S. Marshal's Office, so it just makes sense to help out the feds in this immigration and customs enforcement. Picture a help wanted sign in front of the Clay County Jail, one of the few jails that isn't overcrowded. Here before too long, we're going to start taking applications and start the process. Sheriff Mike Heaton just got the green light from county council members to move $54,603 to hire two full-time jail officers. The extra hands will be necessary as Heaton takes on extra inmates, detainees who are in the country illegally. It's strictly housing and transport, and these people have already been uh, through the system and are waiting to be deported. The sheriff says the detainees he gets will be strictly under 72 hour hold on their way to Chicago and ultimately their respective countries. The sheriff and his staff are eager to have a hand in the federal ICE program yeah, that was supposed to start back in June. The sheriff already has in place two brand new Ford transport vans specially equipped to haul these detainees. Now he just needs the bodies to go inside. Sheriff Heaton says he's happy to help out since his still relatively new facility has the space. Money is a good motivator too. It brings money back into the county, um, you know, which will then potentially offset the cost to the county uh, and bring in additional money to the county that can be used either for operations of the jail uh, or wherever else because that money will go back into the county general fund. Sheriff Heaton says once this federal ICE program gets up and running, he looks forward to hiring five or six more full-time jail officers to help pick up the extra slack. Patrice. Interesting story. Thank you, Brent.